Hello, hello, hello. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a blessed day. Today we're going to look at we didn't do a we didn't do a live from the Casa show today. Holy cow, it's loud out there. We did not do a live from the Casa show and here's the reason. Mike was down south in the Keys. I didn't want to I wanted to kind of have a week off, but then of course Monster Bass came in and then I thought, well, I'll just do this really fast. But before we get started, a couple things that we just need to say. We need to say if you if you didn't hear the news about our good friend Charlie at uh, JR Custom Lures, JR's Custom Baits and Lures, his his Miss Sherry passed. So our thoughts and prayers right off the bat go to Miss Sherry and and Charlie and his son and that whole family that do so much for our community. We had him on a couple weeks ago on live from the casa and it was just amazing, just amazing. So, um. If you didn't see the news, go over there. Our thoughts, prayers, and condolences go to Charlie and his son and, you know, just a horrible thing. If you missed yesterday, I went out to dinner with uh, Skeet Reese and John Murray of Major League Fishing. Skeet Reese won today's round. He moved advanced into the uh, finals and had a great dinner up at Boathouse. Fantastic dinner. Just one of the best of all time. So uh, I thank Bob and everybody at the boathouse. They gave me this <clears throat> great bag of goodies and other things that came in the bag. Recipes on how to make the same stuff, and you know it was <clears throat> it was it was just a good dinner. We had a I had a great time with Skeet and and John and John and I are good friends as is. So. Uh, it was just a good time. So, without further ado, let's check out today's or this month's Monster Bass box, June Southern box for Monster Bass. And as you know, Monster Bass puts out a subscription box every month, and every month they put in seven or eight quality name products that uh, are based for my area. Not all the stuff is going to be perfect, but. In the past, they've done really well. I think they've set the bar on where everyone should be going for. I think when I look at all the people that I've gotten boxes from, I think Monster Bass Box and, of course, the Florida Tackle Club is arguably the hands one, hands down one for me. But they cater it directly for me. But if I don't look at that, Monster Bass is the best one of all t of, of all of them. <clears throat> I'm actually in the process of waiting. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm in the process of putting four of them together and comparing them all. And uh, I've had a really hard time with it, to, to be truthful. Monster Bass, of course, came in just as normal. My mystery tackle box came in wrong. My <clears throat> other one other box came back and... And it was correct. And then there's one that I still am missing. I haven't even gotten. So um, we're going to do a review on all of them and look at all of them, all four of those boxes at one time. I don't think that's going to be a live video. I think I'm going to film it and then edit it down so it isn't as long as these live shows. Because sometimes these live shows can go a little long, to be honest. I get a, lo a little long-winded and I apologize. I mean, yesterday, the truth be t I mean, I'm, I'm being real, way too honest here. I, I'm sure I talked the ear off of Skeet Reese. I'm sure of it. But he and I had a great time. And I, I consider Skeet and John very close friends. So it was one of those dinners that was just awesome to do. I mean, when do you get to have dinner with Skeet Reese? I mean, what are the chances? If you would have told me 10, 12 years ago that I would go to dinner with Skeet Reese, classic champion, AOI winner, one of the best of all times, I would have said, shut your ass. I would have said, never, never. Now I'm having it with Jim, John Murray and him. I went fishing with John too. I, I don't talk about that because it's kind of one of those secret things. So let's look at this month's Monster Bass. Because I don't want to talk anymore. There we go. Okay. They're going to start us off with a Chase Baits. Wiggle Bomb. If you haven't seen this, has a great tail. Um, it's a slow sinking. This is a weird bait for me. I, I, I've tried this out before. 
I tried this out. This is uh, this came out uh, this probably in the last year or so. I had a hard time figuring out how this bait was supposed to be run because it actually sinks. So it, it looks like a frog, but it really isn't. It's more like a, a giant tadpole with that's just about to just about to become a frog. I guess that's the best way to put it. So it kind of swims. It's like almost like a big swim bait. So um, it's a little heavy, but it slow sinks. Uh, not a bad lure. They obviously they got the right color. I mean, down here black is that's it for me for, down here for frogs. So so I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna put this one in the middle for right now. It's not gonna stay there. Of course, I mean it would be too it would be too convenient for something to be exactly the way I want it. Next from Z Man. They gave us a swim jig. It says, does that say snakehead swim jig? Hold on. What does it say on there? It does say snakehead swim jig. From David Walker. Nice looking jig. Not weedless, but still nice. I kind of thought that this month was supposed to be all top water. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I could have swore he said it, it was top water. Also, let me well, let me just say something. I, I need to I need to bring one other thing up. You know, we had Rick on here a couple weeks ago on the live from the Casa show, and I've had a couple people. Oopsie, sorry. I've had a couple people email email me saying, "Hey, look, I know Rick said that he would give you like a, a give you a box to give away." I should I want to just say I didn't invite Rick on to the live from the Casa shows so that he would give us something, and I want to make sure that I don't use that to do that because. I want people to come on so that we can promote and talk and learn more about what they do. So, so I'm not going to ask him for, for anything. I appreciate, I really do appreciate that he would do that for us, but I'm going to try to stick away. I, I'd rather not do that. It's just how it is. I, I apologize to you guys because I know someone would win it. I apologize for that, but I think it keeps us a little bit more that we can be honest and truthful about the box instead of feeling like th that we owe them something because i do pay for this true too so okay back to it next from booyah the toad runner jr if you haven't seen this one those that that tail actually f spins around as you're working it this definitely is a top water bait great bait great action and this is going to actually catch some fish and it has uh, if you look at it if when it's in the water those hooks uh, are are really really good hooks, and you tie the right knot onto that, and you'll be pretty good. I should mention if you guys, here's a little secret tip that maybe, um, that maybe you, you don't know. Most people I think know that when you have a uh, a a lure that's a top water lure that you need to have more action to the bait. If you tie a loop knot onto that up here instead of like your normal Palomar knot or your double cinch knot or whatever you use, if you use a loop knot and learn how to do it, that will give the bait a little bit more freedom to walk properly. It's one of the things I do regularly on um, my top water baits. I put a loop knot on there and fish it that way. We're going to put this one definitely on the right because that's a good one. We're going to put the cross-eyed jig on the right, too. Because, quite honestly, anything that Z-Man makes is pretty much gold. Wait till you see the new frog I got from Z-Man. Shut your mouth. Okay, next. From Lifted Jigs. Some eyeball head jig heads. They're 5 sixteenths of an ounce. Never heard of this. There you go. Hold on, let me put that. I never use anything but loop terminal knots. Good, of course, because hammer, you're a better angler than me. Nice, not sure about those. I'm gonna tilt this down, by the way. So you can see that a little bit better. That camera is like in the worst spot. I've been trying to figure out, 
I, I, should, I could take you around this room of all the things I've changed since uh, starting to do these because I've tried to make it easier for me. And that this light box over here is one of the things that just makes me I, I can't figure it out yet. I, I don't know why. And, and and really, wait till you see the new studio thing I've got built up um, for the new Closer Looks. God, you're going to be... Hopefully, you'll like it. Next, they gave us some X-Zone Blitz Worms. Full pack of them. 11-inch worms. Holy cow. Big worms. You can see those right there. Good color. Red little blue flake or black flake in there. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to put those we'll put those in the middle too. I'm going to put these these things unfortunately they're going to go on the left. I've never heard of them. I don't use that stuff and that's just this is just me. Next from Liquid Mayhem, no fish can resist the shad scent. So they gave us some scent. That's always pretty good. You can always use that to help entice better bites. Go big or go home. Ooh, a froggy. Okay. Tim, high five. Air high five. So I'm going to put that over there on the, the right too. Next from, oh, another thing from X-Zone. Maybe this is an X-Zone box. I don't know. From X-Zone, the floating claws, the four-inch adrenaline bug. Look at those. I'll take one out. Hold on. Before we take take one out, let's... Oh, no. They're they're good. We're good. We are good. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Still another good color. Like the color. Um, I guess those float. So if you like creature baits, that's a good one, too. I don't throw a lot of creature baits, but I'm still going to put that one into the right, too, because I want to see how they work for the floating part. And then last but not least, again, another one from X-Zone, which is their Floating Claws Pro Edition Muscle Back Finesse. Uh, another crawfish kind of bait. We'll take these. Oh, hold on. We'll smell them first again. Yeah, they're good. We're all right. You notice I got a little bit of sunburn today, by the way. Not bad. That might make a really nice trailer for a chatterbait, to be honest. That might make a really nice cha uh, trailer for a chatterbait. So, not bad. And that's it for this month. Let me take everything off here. Let me turn that off and then turn me off. Here's what we got this month. And I can turn my microphone properly. We got two packs or three packs of X-Zone baits. We got three. One, two, and three full packs, which is really good. Next, we got those jig heads. From Chase Baits, we got the Wiggle Bomb. We got the Booyah Frog, Toad Ju Runner Jr., we got the swim jig from Z-Man. And then you got the liquid mayhem. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me look at the, the book for the month. Oh, here it is. Next month is the Lunker Hunt series. So if we look at this stock, if we look at this stuff, as I bring everybody, bring myself back into this, Monster bass. Let me put that on. If we look at all this stuff, the booyah bait is nine dollars. The liquid mayhem is six to ten dollars. I don't know. That seems that seems a little expensive for that. Is this uh, six ounces? Thirty milliliters. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Most I I I. I Mostly, yeah, I don't know. That's six, so we're going to put it at the middle. We'll say it's $8. The Chase Baits is 10 to 12 The Z-Man is 5 The X-Zones are all $5 each, and the Lifted Jigs is 2 50 So if we look at all of it, we look at, let's say, 17 28 uh, 38 48 You got $50 worth of, of goods this month. 
Um, so not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, most of that stuff I'm going to use. I think the only thing I'm not going to use would be the jig head things. Um, I would use a couple of these, these, these ones and the other ones as trailers, I think, on Chatterbaits because that uh, always helps. I'm run, also running out of my Smash Tech Blade Aids, so I need to reorder those. But in the meantime, I could put those on. The swim jig, I need to learn how to swim. use the swim jig a lot better. So overall, not a bad box. Pretty good box. Is it their best box they've ever put together? I mean, the thing is with, with Monster Bass is they have done so well for so long. It's really hard to, to not say, is this the best? In my opinion, this is probably an 8 out of 10. I, I would say probably an 8 out of 10. I think there's a couple things. I, I don't know if I want three of the same plastic lures, but you want... but thinking about this with all the stuff that's going on with covid and all the craziness it might be the that they probably had some people that had to back out or they couldn't get the the stuff in because getting stuff from from china right now is really really impossible um i talked to our, a friend yesterday for quite a bit of time about his his company and how tough it is for him to get his products in so it might be that that uh, might that this might be some of it and that's why they put three really good x-zone stuff I, I will say i don't ever see x-zone for sale down here in florida i don't see them in the tackle shops that i go to or the big box stores that i go to too like academy or or bass pro but i do know they are good good quality product i don't know who is who's they're they're obviously a, a company under a big umbrella of, of stuff but they are good and they make a good product. And you want to, they, that's all full pack boxes, bags. So that helps quite a bit too. So overall, great box. Not bad. Well, not, I don't want to say great. I'd say really good box. I'd say really good box. If you guys want one of these, you can use the code SAVE15 and you can get your own box. You can do that right now. I know that code always works. First one, you can save 15 bucks. So you get this box for $20. That's pretty sickening. If you think about that, if someone were to send this to you, would you be happy with it? If, if you were, if I were to say, Hey Steve, if I were to say, Hey guys, I will send you this box for free. Would you be happy with it? That's what we need to, that's what you need to remember. Most people don't buy these and do videos on them and do content for media. Most people don't do that. I'm the only stupid one that does that. Or there's others that do it too. And I don't want to call them stupid, but we are. Some of them get them for free though. I don't. Anyway. Um, I want to again say my thoughts and prayers go out to um, JR Custom Lures. He and I are wor we're working on something. I'm going to kind of shelve that for now. I want him and his family to get back on their feet, and um, I really hope that they're all right. I really hope they're all right. I, I also heard yesterday while I was at dinner with uh, John uh, Murray, he was on the phone with Aaron Martins, and Aaron was doing very well but still was going through a really rough time, a really rough time. And Aaron's really trying to fight through it. Actually, Aaron is actually running two or three miles after doing his chemotherapy. So my thoughts and prayers go out to Leslie and Aaron and the kids. And uh, I, t I text Aaron all the time and just, it's crazy to say this, but sometimes you just have to say, I love you, man, and I hope that you're doing well. So my thoughts and prayers go out to them, too. And, and if you don't know, you need to support Aaron and all these other people. In fact, they're having an auction for Charlie and his family, and they have a GoFundMe to pay for some of the stuff. If you're interested, you can go to JR Custom Lures and check that out. They have that GoFundMe, and also they're working on a auction that all the money will go to the tiller family which is charlie and his son so anyway um guys just go out there and check them out sorry i didn't have a live from the casa i went fishing uh i had a good time fishing to be honest didn't slaughter them but i caught a couple few hooked a few and uh had a good time with a buddy so it was it was a good time and i got sunburned like look oh my Holy, holy, sh hold on, let me show you that. Oh my gosh. We can't let the wife see that or I'll get in so much trouble. 
yeah, I'm whispering because she's probably out there listening. Guys, there's some really, there's some really great closer looks coming up. I should tell you that. Saturday's closer look. I don't know which one I'm going to do first. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I have three done. There's a closer look of the Black Label Lures Cliff Pace Swim Bait. Let me put this up so you don't see a blank thing. There is a closer look of the Duo Realis Namase Gill Swim Bait. Yeah, Hammer, you don't don't comment about that. You want it next week, Lindsay? It will be. Lindsay is my favorite sister. I'll put that on there. Um, I have the Namase, and then last but not least, I have the Mirror Lure Broke. Broken back minnow, and there's a new, completely new look to them. You know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a little tease of the new look of what we, what I have going. So let me close a few things here. Oopsie, wrong button. Close a few things. Tell me what you think of this new look. Hold on, let me just pick one. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman. Today, you and I are going to take a closer look at the Black Label Lures Cliff Pace Peanut Crankbait. Welcome back. Today, let's take a closer look at the black label. What did you think of that? Did you notice the new backdrop and everything I have going there? Some people have seen it, to be truthful. Hammer's seen it already a long time ago. <laughs> uh, but I had, to get his, I had to get someone's opinion, and I trust Hammer quite a bit. So Hammer got to see it a long time ago. But hopefully you like that new look. There's some, I've got some, I've really got some ideas on how to make those closer looks look a little bit better, get a little bit, um, try to do things a little bit differently. Um, so I'm working on some new things, but of course they take a little bit of time. Um, so you'll see, you'll see one of those three. I don't know which one, one of the three. I'll put something online. You can pick which one you want to see, but there's three great new baits. To be honest, there's the one, um, of the broken back minnow some of them that one the one you just saw is the final of what it's gonna look because the first the first few i two i did don't have that same brightness of me i had to learn something and and also um you know it it's just a learning process so anyway okay guys i hope you guys have a blessed day make sure you check out jr custom lures and and uh baits and show them the love. Show Aaron Martins the love too. And uh, I've been down at Major League Fishing, but I'm not. I'm not covering it. I'm sorry. Um, it's a pain in the ass. That's the God's honest truth. It's a pain in the ass. Um, friends that are there, they're willing to come over and say hello to me and talk to me. Other people that maybe I don't know as well, like I don't know Zach Burge really at all. I've only talked to Zach once or twice in the eight or ten years we've done this. So uh, I don't really have a real good relationship with him. I don't have a bad relationship with him, but I, I just don't, you know what, I'm not going down to cover it. However, if Skeet wins, then I'm going to go down. If Skeet, there's a good chance I'm going to have to go down to the final as is. So maybe I'll do something for the finals when we find out who wins and interview all of them at that point in time. But this qualifying, all this other stuff, I'm not doing. I'm not going down. Okay, guys. Now they've said way too much, and it's been 24 minutes. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you get your fish on. Take a kid fishing. We will see you guys soon. Cheers.